The Knicks are running it back. Nerlens Noel, JD, three years, thirty-two million dollars. The Nerlens Wall getting the Ow. bag. Talk about loyalty. Talk Ooh. about the CAA Kentucky connection taking care of their guys. Nerlens getting the bag. Alec Burks getting a, a pay yep. raise, three years, thirty million dollars for for Alec Burks. Wow, 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 wow. So the Knicks look nice. like they are running it back, fellas. Um, JD, I'll go back to you, man, because we, we talked about this Noel thing last night. I didn't think they were going to go multiple years for, for him, man. What, what's, what's your take on this? Yes. Um, I mean, let's see. <laughs> Three years. Um, you know, let's see what the details are again. Is there a team option? Um, is Is it, you know... The, the, the details will say a lot, but as I mentioned yesterday, I, I never ruled out the potential re-signing of Nerlens Noel for the simple fact, if you just look at the clues from Tom Thibodeau's previous tenure with uh, Joe Kim Noah in Chicago, and, you know, I mean, Carl Anthony Towns is a franchise player, he tried to get that out of him, but mm -hmm. at the center position, he just loves 48 minutes of rim protection. And when Mitch Robinson was healthy with Nerlens Noel, he was he got 48 minutes of rim protection and so i think that's an important ingredient and formula to be able to execute his system and when you have a signing like evan fournier who's not necessarily a solid, a great defender um you know evan fournier is going to get a lot of minutes i think rim protection becomes even more paramount um depending on some of these other guys you're going to resign especially if you're going to lose reggie bullock who is a solid defender so i think on the basis of tom thibodeau we've seen it with jericho sims he just loves shot blockers he yeah. loves athletic centers and nolan's noel was a career high in blocks at 2.2 blocks last year CP, when we, you know, when you were doing the mid-season grades last season, there were a lot of people that thought Nerlens Noel was the unsung hero. Listen, I, you know? <laughs> he, listen, he, um, trust me, he was because when Mitch went down, we had no rim protection. You're right, but three years, thirty-two million now, and then what are we gonna do with Mitch? See, well, how this much is where we gonna I invest in? in, in uh, that's crazy. Go ahead, bro. I, the deal's kind of crazy to me. Go ahead, bro. What's interesting is you bring up the good point. Uh, CP, it's what are we doing with Mitchell Robinson now? Because you're paying Nerlens Noel for three years, thirty-two million. Yeah. Like Mitch, you know, we don't know what Mitch is going to command, but this is just it's it's essentially insurance because they're not sure where Mitchell Robinson is going. You know, yeah. they may look at Mitchell Robinson's like uh, the 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 multiple uh, agents that he had in the NBA. They may look at his injury history right now. They may look at his, like they're they're questioning him. You know, at the beginning of last season. Uh, as you reported, they weren't necessarily happy with him and how he came into uh, to training camp and, and practice uh, out of shape. So I think this is just uh, another reinforcement for Mitch saying, hey, you know, we're going to give you the tryout again this year. If you're for your healthy, let's see what you can do. But we got our insurance in New Orleans Noel. We got our backup center. And I think they're saying we can move. I think they're also saying, look, we can move Mitch, too. Like they're happy to move Mitch at this point because they already locked up someone in New Orleans as well to be that center. And he showed that he could be a starting center. He, they, he showed he could play majority of minutes. Bro, at 12, 30, uh, 30 12 plus million minutes, you know? dollars, so, I would expect I don't, you're going to pay 12 million dollars for a backup five, bro. I, I don't see, know about that. See, no, and that's the thing. But that's what I'm saying. They 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 have it. They don't have to move Mitch right now. But. Right. What essentially what this is saying is that they're going to move Mitch at some point. That's 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 how I'm reading it. Is that he will be crazy. moved at some point because he's got a good contract, 1.8 million. Someone else can go take that, get some bad money off their books. Maybe you get a pick or a couple picks in return. Uh, maybe one first rounder, a couple second rounders in return for Mitchell Robinson. But this is insurance saying Nerlens Noel is like who they're putting their stock in. And just 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 real quick, CP yeah, has a clue to this potential signing. Uh, Wojnarowski is reporting that Kelly Olynyk, who we discussed on yesterday's show as a viable option, okay, he's getting three years, thirty-seven million from the Detroit Pistons. Wow. So, you know, wow. is is this the market for these type of players? It seems you so. Know what I mean? Hold on, because Jared Allen Jared just got Allen, a five-year five contract year, 100 for a hundred million dollars. Million dollars, <laughs> man. What? I mean, but bro, I mean, Jared Allen has a lot more promise. Then Nerlens Noel. Listen, I'm, I'm not Absolutely. hating on Nerlens, bro. I'm not hating on Nerlens. Don't get me wrong. He held it down as a as a solid rim protector off the bench, but as a limited offensive threat with no hands and does not get enough rebounds for us. 
it's a questionable deal. That's all I'll say. I'll, I'm happy that he's back. I, I have some questions here. I have some questions no, here. There's a lot of questions. It just really makes it just really puts Mitch's future up in the air. I at this point, I'm not saying he's fully guaranteed to be traded because you could also like just because you signed Nerlens to a three year contract doesn't mean you can't trade Nerlens Noel down the line either. Yeah. Um, I think you're also. I think for them, it's also you know you got the CA, you got the CA. Con- they took care of him. Connection, yeah. But they took care of him exactly. They took care of him. So either one could be moved. You know, it's just it brings a lot of questions right now. Is it Nerlens Noel that you're invested in, or are you trying? Is this a trial for Mitch? Is this just insurance for Mitch? There's a lot of directions that you can go with with this type of signing. Now, CP, would you change your opinion yeah. if this comes out to be a two year deal with a team option? Yeah. Yeah, I would. So, so it's dependent on the details for you. Yeah, I mean, yo, it's a backup five, man. That, that's all I'm going to say. And, a, again, a guy that, yes, he gave he's strong in one particular area, but on the boards, we, we have no boards. We'll, we'll see how it goes, man. All right, um, that was Nerlens. How about Alec Burks, man? Three years, 30. How, how are we feeling about Alec Burks coming back, man? I'm, I'm happy Ooh. about it, man. I'm definitely you know happy you, about it. We know you're happy. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it's I, good I, I'm, to- I'm happy about it. It gives us an, another shot creator off the bench. As, as I said, Burks, at times, he came up clutch for us in a lot, many a fourth quarter, took a lot of pressure off guys, especially the younger guys off the bench. Reliable three-point shooter. Um, you know, can get to the free throw line, which is another skill that, that's valued in this NBA. And, and so I, I like the Burks pickup, man. I like bringing them back uh, with 48 potentially in tow. I think that's a nice, uh, nice tandem there. Yeah, I mean, you have... You know, Alec Burks finished the season in the 99th percentile in isolation scoring. So it's really good to know that we have someone who can legit create their own shot off the dribble and just create for others as well. Like we had, a, and for others, like we saw him do the limited point guard when we had, when we didn't have D Rose, we didn't have Alfred Payton for stretches of the season. So it's good that we have, you know, the third string point guard breaking break glass in case of emergency, mm-hmm. but to have him back, especially if he's coming back off the bench, definitely need something, need him because he has that Lou Williams, Jamal Crawford, not saying he's exactly those guys, but he gives you that type of presence where he just comes off the bench, microwave score, you know, some nights he's going to go 16 for 18 and really be that flamethrower. Other nights you're going to get two for 18, but the fact that he's a threat and you have to honor his shot because he can just go off at any minute, that helps the New York Knicks tremendously as the season goes on. Yeah, JD. How yeah. about you, man? Yeah, I mean the, the Knicks last year in uh games that Alec Burks played were 27 and 22. And as I talked about Derrick Rose, when you know the Knicks being uh 24 and 11 with Derrick Rose playing, uh, one of the things I'm looking for in this offseason is get me the players that you know when they play, the Knicks played well. When they play, the Knicks won. Um, it, it, especially since we were going into next season with expectations. Um we we're going into the off season with hat with like six seven players on the contract. So you would I like to see some players return, and he's one of them. Yeah. And I think the addition of Alec Burks complements Evan Fournier because we talked about Reggie Bullock being one of those guys. Now you have two guys, Evan Fournier in spot minutes can create his shot. You got Alec Burks now, so now we're adding you know more playmaking to the roster at, at the guard and wing position. Yeah. So I think those complement each other um, from that standpoint. And you know, listen, Alec Burks had a lot of clutch moments last year, um, gave us a nice game in the playoffs, was up and down. Um, the only thing is I just hope that he is healthy and he yeah. can be available because that's my only knock on him is sometimes we don't know what's going on um, or you know, if we're going to have him available. So. Burks and Fournier, man. So, yeah, uh, we'll, we'll see what happens there. So to everybody in the chat, once again, hit that thumbs up button for you boys.